All right, man. Uh, Lil Nas X has come out the closet. I guess today is the last day of Pride Month. Let's talk about it. We back. Good fella Sports TV We're in the building. Link the article in the description. He came out on Twitter and basically said that um, some people have already known. He basically don't care, you know, if people don't stop messing with him. But hey, he came out. And like I said, if you listen to that song on Country Town Roads, you would have knew that he was gay. That, and I did a video before how the LGBT community was begging him to come out the closet about a month or two ago. You know, people said Dave East was hating on the song. He said the gay, the song was mad gay. And I said the song was gay as well. People said, you just hating. I said, well, he's saying I can ride to I can't ride no more. You know, oh, he's talking about a horse. Man, look here, man. It's subliminals everywhere. Okay. They trying to push this agenda on everybody through music and indirectly, you know, a lot of people don't pick up on stuff like that. And, you know, ever since I was younger, you know, I started to listen to what rappers were saying. And that makes me not actually like a song. A lot of times they can get you with the wordplay. A lot of times they it'll go over your head until you actually sit down and read the lyrics. Or one day you may be not in the club and don't have an extra bass and you hear it with clarity. Now at the end of the day, why did he wait this long? Uh obviously he had this planned out. And now and maybe like 10, 20 years ago, this wouldn't hurt him. Okay, maybe as a hardcore rapper talking about drugs, like what was his name? I love making. You know, he was talking about trapping and stuff. He came out as gay, and they dis they dishonored him and disowned him in the rap game. Hey, he came out about what that I'm on the uh, I'm in the club on the Tuesday. Had they came out about five six years later, he wouldn't have got crowned. It, it's really it's really no shocker, man. You know, I believe he's from Atlanta it's too. So I really think that's not a shocker, but hey, man, credit to him. You know, um, it's not taboo anymore, um, but it's not surprising to me. Me and Dave, he said that shit. I mean, when when I listened to the song, I said, hey, man, that sound kind of suspect, okay? And I was telling people, or I was just discussing it, people said, oh, you hating, and oh, they were saying Dave East was hating, and like, like real talk, a lot of people owe Dave East a fucking apology. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, it ain't gay, and you know it was they posted and he did on Instagram and he called it out. And I said the same thing before he said, and I was telling people, me, oh my son, love that song, you know. And you go back to that Teletubby shit when they had that boy Teletubby wearing the purse. You know what I'm saying? You go back to all these referencing points. They've been pushing it. They've been pushing, you know. Being gay on the mainstream and people not paying attention and people letting their kids watch certain things and they've been pushing it and your kids pick up on it. It may not be, you know, out there in the blue to you, but y'all really need to let you uh, pay attention to what y'all y'all kids watch and y'all listen to. And a lot of this went way over y'all heads. Way over y'all. And it didn't go over mine. But I knew. I mean, I know long enough to be listening to music. I knew what he was talking about. Just the way he was hitting those damn notes and the way he was, I can ride to one. And they saying that's the reason why I don't funk sway with the with the song. I just don't really like country music. I can't really uh uh I rode a horse before, but I really can't get with country music. Now, I I've been to a country music concert and I liked it. What you got uh um Kenny Chesney, I worked his concert, they had Uncle Cracker on the under I mean, shit, country music is lit. Okay, real talk, country music is lit. I I the concert, you know, best clean fun I had. But this song, for some reason, I just couldn't gravitate to it. Couldn't gravitate to it, man. And um, maybe it was trying to, he was trying to mix the rap with the country. But I ain't saying it's a bad song. He made a ton of money off of it. And he did something that's noble. And that take a lot of pride to do, man. And, um, you know, and he admitted to he came out. And a lot of other rappers and artists and, and, and people across the world, they still hiding in the closet. And he came out, and it, and it is what it is. But I told y'all guys about that song, but nobody wanted to listen. But I'll link the article in the description. Got all the tweets and stuff. But salute to him for being a real man. A lot of these dudes won't. Uh, Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget, we are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And y'all can reach out to the email as well. All those links in the description. And I'll link the article there as well.